All right, guys. Muay Thai guy bald. Savak guy in blue. So right now, oof, they look very stereotypical. Muay Thai guy especially looks stereotypically Muay Thai. Savat is French boxing. Usually it's in shoes. Comes from the sailor days, apparently. It's a very old system, but their kicks are super, super fluid. And since he doesn't have shoes, he's not going to kick with his toes as much. But just kicking at each other's rib area. The Muay Thai guy got that kind of Muay Thai little step going on, right? Looking like Sagat. And the French boxer, a.k.a. the Savator. Savator? Is that what you call him? He's more going to be more flowy, right? Ooh, he knows how to check Muay Thai guy's kicks too. That really hurt. Look at that. He punched the Muay Thai guy before the Muay Thai guy's roundhouse kick got to him. So this was a match. I don't know from when, but this has been sent to me before, but Sometimes you got to send me a few times and then I see it, right? I get sent a lot of stuff. So, oh, no. Oh, sweep time. Nope. Nope. Oof. A little knees to the rib. Savak guy definitely feeling that. Not too much pummeling by Savak guy. So, I get a feeling this is probably kickboxing rules. Wow. Punch to the Sorry, kick to the face. And punch to the face. Ooh. No standing count there. Oh, man, that combo. Notice he started that combo with a roundhouse kick, then continued it with punches, right? And it wasn't a lead roundhouse kick. It was from his dominant leg, his power leg. See that? He's doing that a lot. He doesn't set up, the Savak guy doesn't set up his um, right roundhouse kick. I like that move a lot. Jab to a very low lead roundhouse kick. And his push kick to the face in Muay Thai, you call it a team, I don't know what it's called in Savak. I should start learning all the terms in Savak because I'm a big fan. His push kick to the face is connected twice on Muay Thai guy. Muay Thai guy looking so much like Sagat. It's hilarious. Oof, but he's losing in the boxing. And I would say they're evenly matched with the kicks, but Savak guy takes the edge a little bit in the... Wow, that was definitely a standing count. Yeah, Savak guy takes the edge in the combos too. So better punches and better combos. Kick-wise, they're about the same. So I think at this rate, Muay Thai guy is not... Going to do well at all. So this is Francois Penachio. Look at that. So this is the... Was this the... No, this was not... No, this was the T... Not TKO, but the standing count moment. So I love the slow-mo. Look at that. That's a... Oh my God. That's a step inside kick that he threw. That's amazing. Look at that. That was, he knocked him down, but not enough for a standing count. Look at that. The amazing understanding of distance, right? Before the roundhouse kick could really connect, he punched. He stepped in and punched. Round two. Look at that touch gloves. Again, this time he's leading with a, Roundhouse kick lead, roundhouse kick. Oh, great leg kick by Muay Thai guy. There you go, Muay Thai guy throwing some more combos. Look at that. A double roundhouse kick by our Savat guy. I want to see some spin kicks, man. Savat is known for his crazy spin kicks. Basically, Savat, that was amazing. Look at that kick right to the face. Like, you don't see this type of kick as much. In Muay Thai or kickboxing, man. This is very unique. Wow. Muay Thai guy throwing his signature baseball bat like roundhouse kicks. But so far, I don't think he's connected with too many of them. 
So obviously this Savator, this Savak guy has adopted, right? He's not as flowery or flowy as you would expect to see from if it were Savat versus Savat because he knows our Muay Thai guy is very hardy. So he has to be very careful, right? He has to be very careful with the space he gives, how much he turns his back, aka spin kicks and stuff like that. So he's definitely trained for this type of match against our Muay Thai guy. And I think there's definitely... They haven't done Muay Thai plums on each other. He's grabbing the roast, man. Come on, Riff. Because I'm surprised Muay Thai guy hasn't put him in a Muay Thai plum. So there must be some kind of no clinch rule. That's why they're more oof. Pummeling. That was so good that we need to look at that again. Watch this. So he again punched him while he threw a roundhouse kick. And on his way down, he also kicked him. That's your Savat type of flowy combos you don't see in kickboxing. Oh, roundhouse kick to a cross. He had a right roundhouse kick to her. That was an axe kick. So this Savat guy, one of the effectiveness of his combos is he can throw what I call same side combos, right? Like left, left. Maybe it's a different limb, but it's left, left or right, right. That really throws off your opponent because usually you expect a left, right, and then maybe a left or a right, left, right. And, you know, it could be a punch, punch, kick or punch, kick, punch. But if it's coming from the same side. So, wow, he is good at checking kicks, man. So I think besides his good combos, what's really also throwing our Muay Thai guy off is the fact that Savak guy can check kicks, man. Right. Oof. So, so far, most of the roundhouse kicks to the body have landed on Savak guy's crook of the shoulder area. So, Savak guy's absorbed it, but he will start feeling that roundhouse kick later on in the round. But it's prevented him from taking it to the ribs at the end of the day. All right, round three, guys. Another one of these crazy kicks to the face. Ooh, wow, Muay Thai guy knocked him down. Nice. Nice. Dude, that's why. This is why we watch these matches, right? One moment you're ahead and then you make one mistake or he does one thing right or both. And suddenly it looks more even. Look at that. Muay Thai guy's pressing forward, man. The Savak guy trying to angle. Very good. So, dude. Oh, that kick to the face, man. I definitely need to search up how Savak guys train for that because I don't usually kick that high. I mean, I can spin kick that high, but axe kick wise or push kick wise, I usually am not able to kick that high. So I need to learn from Savat. It looks like this guy's getting a medical checkup. A few moments later. So it continues. Ooh, nice. Muay Thai guy tried a roundhouse kick to his lead leg, but he got punches returned. Muay Thai guy definitely feeling more confident, right? Oh, look at that. It's happened so many times. The Savak guy is able to time it. So when Muay Thai guy throws his roundhouse kick, he returns with punches before the roundhouse kick really can connect. Like Dutch kickboxers do that too, right? They will sacrifice their leg for a roundhouse kick, and in return, they'll Give him a few punches back. It's really interesting. Oof. You got to be careful. I got to be careful. Ooh. Muay Thai guy's trying to knock you out. Ooh, he got him. He got him. Dude, that dazed Muay Thai guy so much. This might be KO. This might be a KO soon. I think a Sagat, Savat guy, Sagat, if Savat guy doesn't get too emotional, he's going to get the win by KO, man. Our Muay Thai guy's desperate and he's not defending himself as much as before. Look at that. You see this? See this? Be patient. Be patient. Angle. And I think he can do it. Wow. Oh, there we go. There we go. You got a minute, man. Yep. Just look at those combos. Right? Yep. Exactly. Wait until he attacks again with both his hands down. 
Oh, or do that, or attack him first. Look at that. Hooks to the body, kicks to the legs. He went in with a knee this time, followed by punches. This is definitely our Savak guy's round, man. I want to call him a Dutch kickboxer. Some of the ways he fights is almost like a Dutch kickboxer. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Definitely giving him a standing count for that one. His second standing count. So, Muay Thai guy insists he's okay. A few moments later. So it's going to continue. There we go. Beautiful Savak combo. So I think that was the end of the round. Next round. Let's see how they go. Fourth round. Muay Thai guy still driving forward. Mm. Not attacking in a smart way, man. All right, here we go. Savak guy. Ooh, nice. Keep doing that. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful angles. Beautiful, beautiful combos. So, Francois Pinacio is the Savak guy. Nice. Yeah, great little head movement even. Good. See, it's crazy because no matter how much this Muay Thai guy takes damage-wise, he's still very, very formidable with his kicks because he's trained those crazy roundhouse kicks so much, man. So much, right? He's just very formidable. He's very formidable. They're checking on him, yeah. You might need to give him another standing count. He's not as responsive. I think the ref or whoever, the medical, has decided that he's not fine. I agree. I mean, he looked like he wasn't too responsive. I think, see, he's almost bumping into our Savak guy. So, yeah, definitely give the Savak guy the win. I think this was good. Oh, man. You see how notice the Savak guy kicked with his foot. He didn't kick with his shin, right? Watch that again if you didn't see that. He kicked the rib with his foot. That's a little nuance, a little difference between Savat and Muay Thai. Muay Thai is very much about the shin, but Savat is very much about kicking with different parts of your feet, especially knowing your assumption is you probably have shoes on. But again, karate too. A lot of these styles, they kick with their foot, right? So that was one of the coolest matches ever. The more I look at Savat, the more I just want to see footage so all of you, anyone that's trained Savat, no people that have trained Savat, send me footage. Savat's quickly becoming my favorite kickboxing style. One of my former coaches actually really likes Savat. When I trained with him, I didn't really know about Savat and its nuances compared to kickboxing, karate-based kickboxing that is, or Dutch kickboxing, or Muay Thai, or Sanda, etc. But man, I love Savat's flowiness. It just flows in a different way than what we're used to. I assume French speakers would know more about Savat than English speakers. So I know I got some French audience. Send me Savat footage, man. Preferably footage that you know the owners of so I could talk to them and be like, yo, come interview with me. I want some Savat footage ASAP, A-S-A-P, s'il vous plaît. Watch this moment. See why it's important to have your hands up? Despite the fact that he didn't have his hands perfect in guard, it still protected him from the cross. The jab, but look at that. Having his hands up still protected him from the cross. So, when in doubt, have your hands up perfectly closer to your face. He wouldn't have needed that jab potentially, but man, hands up, man. Hands up or get hit. And even if you get hit, still have your hands up because it potentially prevents more hits. 